All right, so today is June 23rd of 2018, which means it's been about two years since I've built this thing. So what is this exactly? Well, this is what I and some others have referred to as a long life blinking jewel thief. And it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's a jewel thief circuit and it's been modified a little bit so that it blinks. And the long life part of it is that it will last a long time off of a single battery like this. So when I say modified, I mean it's basically a jewel thief, but instead of a 1K resistor or a relatively low value resistor for the uh, base of the transistor, you use a high value like 100K in this case. And also you take a capacitor and you put it in parallel with the resistor. So in this case, I think you've got a 100 microfarad capacitor on here. And that's what gives you your blinking effect. And when it blinks like this, it doesn't take very much power whatsoever. As I said, it's been two years since I built this, and yes, it has been blinking the entire time. As you can see, I have just soldered the connections straight onto the battery and then hot glued everything onto the battery as well here. So, this thing has not been disconnected. It's been stuck to a refrigerator via this magnet for the last two years or so. I built this on June 20th of 2016, so we are about three days over two years, and it's been happily blinking ever since I built it. All right, so this is just an update video. All I really wanna do here is measure the battery voltage and tell you about what it's done. Now, originally when I put this thing together, if my memory serves me correctly, the voltage on this battery was exactly 1.600 volts. And then after one year, which I have an update video of that as well, my battery voltage was at almost exactly 1.500 volts. So today we are gonna see where it is after two years. All right, so we have the multimeter. We'll go ahead and turn that on and set it to DC volts. And if we measure across our battery terminals, we have 1.471 volts. So this thing really has not dropped in voltage very much at all in the last year. So we've only dropped about three hundredths of a volt in an entire year of usage. Now I suspect the reason why the voltage of this battery dropped a lot more in the first year than the second is just because of the way that a normal battery discharge curve looks like. You usually end up with a really sharp drop off in the beginning and then it flattens out for a while and then as the battery dies it drops off again. So right now we're kind of in that range of the graph where it's just flat and it's going to stay at a pretty high voltage throughout uh, most of its lifespan. Now mind you this is still a Jewel Thief circuit so it's going to use the battery all the way down to about maybe 0.6 to 0.8 volts somewhere in there. It's basically just gotta be enough to turn the transistor on. And at the time you're down to around 0.8 volts, essentially all of the capacity in the battery has been used up. Now I mentioned in one of the update videos and probably the original build video for this, I actually do have another one of these guys. And I don't have an exact date as to when I built this. I believe it was around March of 2015. So this one's been going for a bit over three years. And this one, did not have a freshly charged or a new battery in it, I should say, because these are uh, disposable alkaline batteries. This battery had actually come out of a TV remote and was pronounced dead, at least for use in the TV remote. It did still, in fairness, it did still have quite a bit of voltage in it. And the reason why I didn't use a new battery in this is because I used a red LED and the four voltage of this red LED was actually enough to the point where if you put in a new battery, it would just light the LED up without needing to use the Jewel Thief. So it was kind of a cheating thing. But anyhow, if we take a look at the voltage across this battery, we have uh, 1.191. So this battery actually still has quite a bit of capacity left in it as well. And this guy's been going for three years on a used battery. I'm also kind of surprised that this battery hasn't leaked because it's one of the really cheap uh, dollar store alkalines. I'm also kind of surprised that this one hasn't leaked because I soldered right to the ends of it and I don't know, maybe I was, I, I honestly don't really remember if I was careful not to get the battery too hot. I, I probably was, but I was kind of expecting it to start leaking because of the solder joints after 
after a while. But anyway, and the reason why I didn't use another one of these battery holders is because the battery holder actually kind of screws with it. If you wiggle the battery around, it actually changes the flash rate. I don't know if you can see that. I hope it was in frame, but if I kind of put pressure to one side or another, it will change the blink rate. So these things have basically just hung out on a refrigerator for all of their lives. And they've got magnets on the back of them, as you can see here, battery holder and the uh, board there both have magnets glued onto them. And then this one's just all one self-contained little unit, which I thought uh, turned out fairly nice. It's kind of ugly and Frankenstein looking really, but I don't really mind that look. I think it's kind of cool. So anyhow, I thought I would give you guys an update as to how my little blinking jewel thief circuit has been doing in the last couple of years. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.